I'm Rob, one of the co-founders, so I've been roped in again today to paint something else. So we've picked up this um, old table, so it was Habitat a long time ago. Um, metal garden furniture, it's got some rust in places, paint's peeling off, it's quite faded. So we're going to go through the steps of how to prep that and paint it and get it looking good again. So everything from cleaning it down initially, giving it a sand, we're going to prime it actually in this case as well um, so we'll go through that and then apply the final coat of coats coat of coats exterior eggshell product uh, in david rose so a really really nice black um, off black color to match some of the, the stuff that we've already got going on in the garden so we'll go start to finish go through the whole thing um, big fans of upcycling so anytime we can make use of something again great let's do it and this is probably going to take i don't know half an hour to prep it, another half an hour to paint it, um, plus another coat. So really, really quick, easy way to, to take something old and, and kind of give it a refresh and yeah, reinvent it for, for something else. So yeah, let's do it. So the next step we're going to do, or the first step, is give it a bit of a clean down. So this isn't too bad. Um, we're going to use just a cloth with some kind of warm soapy water, just get that excess dirt off the top before we um, sand it. Um, if it's really bad and you, and you really need to kind of get some serious grime off it, a um, little bit of white spirit um, will do the job, especially on kind of metal stuff. So give that a go, but wear gloves if you're going to do that. So I'm not I'm not going to do it. Um, I'll just use warm, warm soapy water, which should be fine now. So give it a clean down and then we'll move on to um, sanding it and just taking that top layer of paint off. So I've given it a little wipe down, it wasn't too bad, so we just used some water, uh, warm soapy water. Can use white spirit if you want to, if it's really manky. Um, but we'll move on to giving it a, a bit of a sand. So I've got one of these little sanding blocks. Um, 120 grit, which basically means kind of low to medium level of um, abrasion. But we just want to give it a rough surface so the new paint will, will take to it. So I'll give it a quick sand down. A couple of bits of rust on this one, so one on the leg and like a couple of bits underneath. So I'm just going to take all the flaky bits off basically get the loose bits off with the sandpaper um, and then we'll talk about priming because in this case you would need to use a primer so we'll talk through what what that looks like um, but yeah step one get on with the sanding so when you're sanding it down obviously you want to get any rough bits off and just the, the top layer of paint but there's a few kind of really minor rusty bits so when when sanding just get get them off basically give it a sand get that back um, back down and then the primer will stop any of that rust coming back through so just something to watch out for there's a few spots down here as well but um, there will be on metal stuff generally but nothing to worry about we'll, we'll prime it and that'll be absolutely fine so we've given it a sand down um, we've taken off kind of the bits of flaky paint so previous paint that was on there uh, there's a bit of rust you can see it kind of around the feet and, and the underside so scrape that back down um, but because of that we're going to need to prime it um, you don't always need to so coat paints is self priming technically but because this has got rust on you just need an exterior primer that's got anti-corrosive or kind of rust proof um, qualities to it so we're doing it outside it smells a bit because these kind of things tend to have quite high um, VOCs which uh, coat paints don't normally so we're doing this in a nice area um, I'm going to give it a wipe down first get all that kind of dust and old paint off um, and then we'll get straight on with kind of putting the primer on So sometimes with primer, definitely on the first coat, um, it's going to look a bit ropey. You can still see stuff through it, but actually just getting that really, really light coat on is absolutely fine. That's all it needs just to give that paint a surface to stick to. So don't worry if you can still see like the yellow coming through like we can in this case. It's absolutely fine. It'll literally just a quick once over um, and it'll do the job. So we've finished priming, um, it was yellow, it's now kind of an off yellow with, with a bit of white on it, but well worth it. So we'll leave it out here now for, it says four hours on the tin, so we'll give it, give it a few in the sunlight and then we'll come back out and apply um, the coat paint on top. So hopefully it'll be looking really good. 
So the table's been drying outside for about four hours or so. It's just started raining, so we brought it back in. Um, classic, but time to get the uh, paint on. So it's all nice and primed and dry. Um, couple of things with the paint. So choose an exterior paint to start with and then something that's good for, um, for metal furniture. So Coke's exterior eggshell, perfect for, um, for outside. Great for metal, will adhere really, really nicely to this. Um, slightly off matte finish um, and yeah it'll look really really good for for a long time so we picked David Rose which is a really dark um, blue kind of off black color it's actually this color um, so yeah I'm going to use a small brush to kind of get the legs and get in all the detail and then I'm going to use this gloss um, roller for the top just to give it a really really nice um, smooth finish so yeah get on some painting Um, so when you're applying the top coat, don't worry too much about the first coat being quite streaky or patchy. It needs to be quite thin. So I've done it with a brush so far. I'm going to use the roller on the top. But yeah, I'm not focused on kind of getting complete coverage because we'll do a second coat um, for that afterwards. So we're going to put the final coat on now. So this is the second coat of um, exterior eggshell going on this metal table. It's looking good already, but it just needs a bit of filling in. It's a bit patchy, so we'll give it a second coat um, and I'm sure it'll look great. It's raining a lot, um, so it's been drying for almost four hours now and we're just at the point where um, we can get away with putting another coat on. So yeah, I'll we'll get on with that. So we're done with the table. It's probably, well, excluding drying time, an hour's worth of work, and it looks awesome. Um, so it was yellow before from Habitat a long time ago, but just a really old um, bit of metal garden, garden furniture. Cleaned it up, sanded it down, primed it in this case, just to make the paint stick, um, and finished it off with two coats of David Rose, which is Coates Exterior Eggshell Product. Um, and yeah, looks awesome. Giving it a new lease of life, all about upcycling things, not sending anything to the skip or to landfill. I'm really, really happy with what this looks like. When it's not raining, um, I think we're gonna have it outside, chuck a load of plants on it, get some plants hanging down it, and uh, yeah, I think it'll look really good. So exterior eggshell in this kind of weather will do the job. Um, so yeah, always pick a good exterior paint. Um, and yeah, really easy project. So hopefully this has given you a bit of an insight into how to upcycle paint uh, metal garden furniture. Mm -hmm.